interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright? Please show us how she carried the body. The band is my best guess. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it! Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Oh boy. Uh... Um... Man, I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Uh, of course he wasn't. Ha, huh. so without Mr. Maneva noticing anything, she put the body in the van. And then she put the body into the costume. Are you seriously, seriously suggesting that is possible? Uh, of course I'm not serious. Okay, cool. Huh. I was getting to, uh, lighten up the proceedings. Right? You can't lighten up a murder. Mr. Wright, court request you refrain from making claims in jest. Y yes, your honor. Oh, thank God. Of course, Salmonella has been a... Ha uh, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. I don't know. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hm. I lose. You win. It was fun. Win? This is awkward. Um... So, what happens next? Don't question mark me! Do you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. W wait so you mean... D. Vasquez, so it was you! You killed Jack Hammer! This is getting weird. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a wit battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But, that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. W w wha wha what? Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um... Uh... uh, uh, uh of course. It's as the witness says. It certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. 
Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. What do I do now? I don't know what to do. Damn it. Man. barking at. I am trying to have court in here! Alright, I'm back again. God. Um, I can't prove anything, so further questions. Yes, Mr. Wright? I was hoping I'd come up with a question while pounding on my desk. I didn't. You have my sympathies. Damn. Damn! Come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection! What? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping you'd come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. Wow. Of star team right here. I see. Very well. Objection! What the? Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth? I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Um... Well, yes. Um... Indeed, verily, I say, ergo... I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. Witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <sighs> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? You probably realize she did it too. But, but... Wasn't he the one that says he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Hedgeworth. After finding the body... I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there, too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady Old Bag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I used to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Well. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. All right. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, all right. Press. What time was that? We were to meet at rehearsal at five for the re We were meet at five for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manila arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Press harder. 
Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well? Then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh? What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You try to listen to what people are saying, boy. Boy? Witness will continue her testimony. Since there too, only Powers was absent. Press. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember? What? There was a dead body laying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Uh, press harder, because I've got a... I got an excuse. Wait a second. Can that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Don't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Huh. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, Without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. He often let him on the left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. More powers. Mm, well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. Here we called the police, then power showed up. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Uh, sorry, sorry I'm late. Then silence, dead silence. Yeah, like that. Silent. Hey, hey Nick. What's everyone so... Why is everyone so quiet? So would you do something to lighten things up? Actually, putting in power saying he did it. Old bag, the security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, steel samurai. Let's get more information. Press harder. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seems to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I had heard all this after the fact. A photograph. Meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hammer. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in there I can use. Nice to be left out of the proceedings. You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you. Or covered it up for you. Been a lot riding on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure, her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Back to the trailer, get the script notes direction. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. 
Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Edgeworth? Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? I think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know that the murder about the murder before going to Studio One. I did think that was fishy. That Edgeworth brought it up. Objection! Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. If you've liked this episode, be sure to leave it a like and share it with all of your friends. Hold it! And to stay up to date with all of my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Now let's gather up our evidence, meet in the hollowed land of the courtroom to deliver justice for those innocent of their crimes.